We all die, Shepard. But not today. Not here. The sources tell us that Viriathus was a shepherd. To survive as a shepherd, you had to be a bit of a bandit. You were out there in the mountains, you had to deal with wolves uh, and other predators, and you often had to deal with real bandits. So I think that Viriathus has exactly the skills that the surviving Lusitanians desperately need in order to continue their resistance against Rome. Viriathus knew very well how to attack and retreat and run away. This can be converted very easily into a very effective military action. This is what we call today guerrilla warfare. He's going to their very psyche. He wants to create the impression that the Romans are not operating in friendly territory, but the hills are alive, if you will, alive with resistance. And nowhere in Hispania will it be safe for the Roman legions to operate. And when they're chasing a fugitive or an escapee and they're in their own backyard, you know, from our perspective, it's like chasing a ghost. I mean, these guys, they disappear, they get help from people on the outside. You have a choice. Stay in these camps and watch your nation and your people die. Or take my offer and live again. Theory of this seems always to be one step ahead of Vitellius, one step ahead of the Romans. He's a natural at this. He's been trained in dealing with the countryside and living off the land his whole life. There is a fire coming. came into conflict with Rome, you could count on destruction. Power can either be good or bad. Uh, what really matters is who is wielding that power, what motivates them, and how they use it.